There are many reasons why people have sleepless nights, but today I'm going to investigate one of the more surprising ones. I've come to meet Rob, who often struggles to get to sleep. Hello. Hi there. It's me. Hi. Thank you. What's the problem? Well, I've had asthma my whole life, and in recent years it's almost completely cleared up, uh, except for when I go to bed. And mm -hmm. for some reason, um, when, I, when I lie down in bed, uh, I, I start getting a tight chest. And within five or ten minutes, I find it difficult to breathe comfortably. If I don't have my inhaler with me for whatever reason, it can get really quite difficult to sleep. And do you know what triggers it? I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't say what it is. OK, I have a theory, but I'm going to need some help. I brought along a special um, vacuum okay, Gary, cleaner and expert course. Gary Farron. We're taking a sample out of the mattress. The, uh, <laughs> They're really, really crisp. What you've got here is... <laughs> You like that. <laughs> Mainly it's dead flakes of skin. This is only just a very small section of the bed, isn't That's it? That's yeah. just from doing the corner. Uh, is this fairly typical? It is typical. Um, so it's not he's especially grubby? No, e everyone has the same problem. <laughs> <laughs> you really didn't expect to see anything quite like this? No, it's absolutely disgusting. But there's also other stuff in here as well as dead skin, There will it? be other stuff in there. There you are. That's what you're sharing the bed with. You see that? This is a dust mite, a tiny eight-legged relative of the spider. 5,000 could fit on the head of a pin. In this sample here. How many of them do you think there are? Well, in an average mattress, there could be 2 million to 5 million dust mites. And how are they feeding? Mainly dead flakes of skin. Right, so I'm feeding them, basically. Absolutely, yeah. We shed our entire skin surface into our bed every month, so there's plenty of food to go round. And they're not just feeding, you'll be thrilled to know, they're also pooing. That right? That's right, and they can excrete about 20 to 40 pellets a day. <laughs> it's about 200 times their own body weight during their lifetime. That's highly unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> and that is probably what's triggering your asthma. Most people are unaffected by dust mites, but for asthmatics, their faeces can cause an inflammatory response. In fact, dust mites are worldwide the most common trigger of asthma, and they love pillows. Rob, we've got one more little surprise for you. Can you stick your arm out? OK. Have you ever wondered why a pillow sags like that? No, I haven't. I haven't You'll be delighted to know it's because a significant amount of the weight of this particular pillow is made up of dust mite... Who? Absolutely right. <laughs> dust mite excrement, as we like to say. That's about right, isn't it? That's right. Or a pillow like that one. Actually, we can be a bit more scientific. Because dust mite faeces are nitrogen-based, a simple litmus test will show just how bad the infestation really is. Oh, nice. Quite it really, really, yes. It changed colour very fast. What do you think of that? Yeah. So that's showing a strong contamination. Right. Yeah. So a high dust mite allergen content. So in that pillow, you're going to have hundreds of thousands of dust mites. Quite Rob simple. is burying his head in that pillow each I'd night. So it's not surprising his asthma is being triggered. Fortunately, I have another pillow here for you. Right. As a present, put your arm out. You see, this does not sag. Right. It is new. So, other than a new pillow, what can you do? Firstly, get rid of any cushions or soft furnishings where dust mites hide. Wash your bed sheets at 60 degrees for over an hour to kill any mites living in your sheets. Most importantly, air your room and your beds. Dust mites are little bags of moisture, so they need warmth and dampness to stay alive. So, to banish dust mites, you're better off not making a bed.